Good evening. Tonight's video is proudly sponsored by Surfshark. Now, in today's era, we find ourselves spending seemingly more and more time online, on our laptops, our phones, computers, always connected to the internet. And personally, I'm very aware of my safety, my need for data protection online. I think it's something that everyone needs to be aware of, which is why using a VPN like Surfshark is a sensible choice. Now, apart from encrypting everything that you view and send online, Surfshark will also enable you to geolocate, meaning if you are connecting to Netflix, as an example, and whatever country you're in, perhaps it doesn't have a certain series, whereas another area of the world has it. Simply open the app, connect to the country, navigate to Netflix. Voila. And what's more than that, apart from the encapsulation, the geolocation, Surfshark can be installed on unlimited devices. So you can put it on your phone, your laptop, your PC, your tablet, whatever you use. And what's even more than that, if you click the link below and enter the code ARTICULATE, you will get 83% off and three months free. That's ARTICULATE. Give it a look. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the video. Good. No sign. Ah. Hi. Welcome to the studio. My name is Matt. It's my pleasure to meet you. It's not every day that the king himself commissions a life-size statue. Before we begin, I just need to see the royal decree. Thank you. Of course, I don't doubt you in the slightest. Ten thousand apologies. Again, welcome to my studio. Could I get you a drink or are you hungry at all? Well, if you are, please do let me know. Now, today we'll be uh, running through a fairly complex process to completely map in detail out every measurement and every angle, every contour of your face and the shoulders, okay? Half measuring the arms, the shoulders, and the back. If we have time, top of the torso, chest. Typically our sculpting pre-meetings span over three or four sessions. The first for me is more about meeting you, seeing how your face reacts to light, understanding the critical dimensions of the face. Whenever we're in a 
museum or an exhibit of some kind and you're looking at a statue regardless of who it is or indeed what this, the statue is for the face takes up 80% of our attention which is why we want to capture you perfectly and that involves a uh, little more again of a complex process than how maybe statues were chiseled traditionally i do believe in the belt and braces approach so i will hand measure everything and then we'll measure electronically a little bit more scientifically and then i want to see how you react to light different kind of light structures, different color spectrums, okay? And also how you look on film and on camera. And all you need to do, is do exactly as you're doing right now, which is sitting there and being amazing. Congratulations again for the commendation. I've been sculpting for 16 years and this is only the second royal commendation so whatever act of bravery or contribution to society you made you should feel proud of it because only the most exceptional could ever earn such an honor now Please do take a seat. Now, I will ask you to forgive me. I jump between taking notes on my paper and typing up some of the more specific dimensions. So we have your name. Your age is of no consequence to me because I think age is one of the most useless pieces of information. I think once somebody's over the age of maybe, depending, between 23 to 26, a lot of our facial structures are completely developed. And after that, it's more about genetics, diet, and external factors like stress. That's what starts to give us age definition. The number is a crystallization that uh, serves as a guide, but we're not trying to guide anyone here. We're operating in facts. Now, the first thing I would like to do is just see what you look like on base film. We have very soft lighting in the studio. And all I need to know photogenic some people my father my sister for example whatever you take with the camera is exactly how they look at that moment in time my mother and I not quite so much we are an entirely different person 
in a captured still form. My wife, on the other hand, again, is stunning in any light anywhere. But it's important to know that level of just how photogenic you really are. And there are things we can do to soften and increase, but we need to understand what we're capturing and how it's going to be perceived. Okay? Good. Now, if you don't mind, I just like to take some measurements of the face. And again, I'll be recording this on paper. And when I switch to the electronic, everything will be computerized. Again, belt and braces. Typically you measure in inches. So there we took two verticals, horizontal and diagonals. And this is understanding how your face intersects. Good. Excellent. Now I just need a slight measurement. Interestingly enough, the ears and the nose are one of the only parts of the human body that never stops growing. Which is why, if it's a long-term uh, installation to a museum, or uh, a permanent fixture in a town or a city, you really want to try and account for this little bit of growth. Because it's quite likely that by the time it's finished, maybe it's on a sports person or a commendation for the forces, military. A couple of years ago, I did one for a Nobel Peace Prize winner. By the time it's finished and released to the public, the individual will have aged somewhat. You need to account for Good. Um, smile from here, please. Just good. <laughs> uncomfortable sometimes. Excellent. And now just the distance from corners of the eye. Okay. Let me just jot these down. I can store between 18 to 23 different measurements before going to paper. Experience. Knowing our limitations is one of the keys to successful profession as far as I'm concerned but understand that you need to know your limitations. Never have anyone tell you your limitations because they're always wrong. My teachers, for example. 
And finally the eye to eye. Your eyes are beautifully proportioned. We as human beings, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on where you fall in the debate, are attracted to symmetry. We feel uncomfortable when something is more than the other. A lot of it is unconscious. We're not aware that we're uncomfortable, but we are naturally drawn. There's a magnetism of symmetry. And even though I don't like it, as a sculptor, I need to account for it. As it stands, you're perfect. Okay. Um, you can take the angle of the chin. here and actually protrudes out a little bit. Excellent. Okay, that's interesting. You look almost the same, but there is a subtle difference. Could be that you're a little bit more at ease now, a little bit less nervous, maybe even a little sleepy. But again, understanding these shifts. I need to think about how the public perceive you, how the public expect to see you. Maybe they're used to seeing you jovial, relaxed, contented. Or maybe they're used to seeing a little bit of stress on your face. Some of our public servants have a, that stress permanently etched into their persons. Terrible thing terrible thing, stress. But it's not something that we can ignore. And as a sculptor, I need to make sure that I'm capturing you as you are to them, not who you are to you. Which is a little selfish. If I was sculpting this for your home, there are more than a few people who do commission statues for themselves. Um... If it was in a home setting, 
it will be different but as it will be featured National Museum we need to get the public's likeness of you now we're going to take the first electronic reading here Interesting. Okay. What that little device is doing, unbeknown to you, is just gently bouncing a laser off the bridge of your forehead and it bounces back and it meets those mirrors that you could see and then it gives me a facial structure that doesn't actually sit quite right with my measurements let me run it again try, um, try to relax try not to look at the metal pads try to look through the object. Very good. There we go. And this is why we to say that the device wasn't correct the first time and my measurements were actually incorrect well it's a good question that's why I need to remeasure just the brow Excellent. No adjustment to the manual measurements. Now the device is um, electronic, but it's still subject to being a device. It can't account for you are perhaps unconsciously aware, but when I place the device here, your eyebrows lifted very slightly. Perhaps in surprise, slight level of apprehension, or mere curiosity. So we retested, and perhaps because you are more familiar with the process, We had agreeable results. No. Second electrical device. It's essentially Bluetoothed into my computer here. Any finalized results that we get, we fed into the machine. Good. Perfect. Interesting. Okay. And now the 
bridge of the nose. then just digitalized like so okay further details I wish to clarify in uh, additional sessions but for just now I'm quite happy with the, the canvas that I'm building in my mind of your wonderful face the hair uh, we do as a standalone session because again it's trying to get you at your most well-known we change your hairstyles our hair changes on its own with time and again trying to crystallize that into a point in time isn't without its challenges but that's why you come to me or rather why the family come to me his Highness is a most gracious individual, kind and uh, well, he gives almost everything he, he has to the most needful, which is always uh, refreshing to see in authoritative figures. But never mind me. The shoulders. be the last exercise I'll inflict upon you okay put them back down again Perfect. 
Very good. Now. Getting the curvature of the collarbones. Have you had any breaks? Collarbone, arm? No? Okay. Okay. I only ask because typically I can surmise from my own evaluation. But there have been instances, not with statues, but with uh, portraits, where I'll take a measurement and the individual has had pain with shoulder or an elbow for some time and will go in for surgery, which can change, sometimes very subtly, but they can change the dimension of um, the limb and well, inaccuracies hurt me, my very soul. The angle of your shoulder blades, quite marvelous actually. Very good. Thank you. Okay, now let's digitize. Placing this over the shoulder. And I'll just run it down the shoulder and down the arm. Good. Perfect. Just, and this is essentially just non invasive laser scanning. And we have perfect synchronicity between manual and digital harmony. Good. Just a quick measurement of the diameter of the collarbone, please. This might be just a little bit of a pinch. Good. Okay. Confirmed. Okay. Quite wonderful. We have the face, shoulder arms, collar, and chest. Now what I'd like to do is just give me a few minutes. Okay, everything's stored. Okay. 
wonderful. Now, if you would be so kind, I need you to hold quite still. And this time, what I'll be doing here is creating a very simple, but elegant color splash profile. So depending on the light of the museum or the exhibit, I need to know how that's bouncing of bone structure, how even the sheen of the nose looks in certain light. Good. I will be starting off with the red. And we'll be using a variety of different color swatches. Okay. This is a nice red color. Interesting. This red is not your color, I don't feel. Let me check in. Interesting. Okay. Sorry if that's quite bright. These color diffusers are really quite wonderful. Subtle blue. Now, feeding these in. Without doubt, the most challenging portion of my job. So this is a cold wash blue. Good. Skin tone. Interesting. Slightly different shade of blue. Good. Good. And these two particular blues. Hmm. I see a lot more uh, interaction, a lot more reaction from the skin tones. Interesting. So this is actually a mix of the red and the second blue color. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Very interesting.
that was a little bit unexpected. Your skin seems to come alive under that almost gentle purple hue. It's quite bright, sorry. Don't want to be planting my charge before. I'd like to try my favorite color around the world, simple yellow. It's quite a quite a warm color. Very nice. Very, very nice actually. Fantastic job. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Okay, now we're almost done. I would like a, a frost coloring. So this isn't quite white. This is a much more refined light. Interesting. Very interesting. Color tone. Color tone. Interesting. Good. The whitewash actually works quite well with your skin tone. Sorry if um, that was unnecessarily bright. for the museum it would be frosted white that your statue will be bathing in excellent now we are almost done I 
just need a few more personalized questions and if these are a little bit uncomfortable please accept my sincerest apologies it is purely in the pursuit of um, the perfect product what I would like to know is um, typically speaking from maybe two years ago to today do you think your weight has fluctuated? I don't care what the weight is. I just need to know, um, typically speaking, me, for example, I'm stuck at the same weight because I don't change my routine all that much. Some people are dieting quite frequently. Maybe you're in events. Maybe you're um, an event cyclist of some kind and you need to be on a specific weight. Again, this is just in anticipation and trying to preserve the longevity of the statue for as long as possible. Okay. And uh, typical daily routine, do you moisturize, uh, do you sundown? Don't use sun pads, good. No salon tanning. Otherwise I could just etch the wrinkles into your face right now. It's a little bit of shade, sorry. Our skin is a precious thing, we should try to preserve it. Especially if it takes minimal effort. These might seem quite curious questions, but it allows for, again, a more complete service. Good. No, I, I appreciate that's been a little while. We'll call it a day there for just now. I have a lot of information on which to start my first mock-up and the mock-up is just done uh, as a clay piece it's um, lacking in a lot of detail but it's a first pass um, that I'll actually bring with us to our next session looking for likeness, looking for potential deviations from original assumptions Okay, thank you so much for your time today, it's greatly appreciated, and again, I understand these can be a little bit uh, laborious, but you were excellent at uh, doing nothing. Thank you for coming in today, and again, a huge Congratulations on receiving the award and commendation. It's exceptionally rare and I'm sure very well deserved. Thank you again. Uh, we'll give you a call in uh, three weeks, maybe three to four weeks, within a month to schedule the second session. considered priority 1.0 so we will work around your schedule every single time of course there'll be a big unveiling actually um, your family and friends will be invited and there'll be a, a dinner in your honor it's um, a lavish affair and one of the few social events I actually enjoy attending mostly because people are looking at my work um, and all the questions are regarding the work and <laughs>